the Indian, Atlantic, and Western Pacific Oceans. I eat coral, sponges, and algae. My predators are sharks and barracudas. Who am I? I am the angelfish. I am a sea urchin. Sea urchins can live from 15 to 200 years. I have a hard shell that I leave behind after death. My animal is an electric eel. Baby electric eels have little electricity. Electric eels are nocturnal. My animal is a starfish. Starfish have two stomachs. One of its stomachs can be pushed out of its body to digest its prey. Starfish don't have a brain and blood in their body. My animal is a bottlenose dolphin. Bottlenose dolphins uh, are fast to survive shark attacks. Scientists believe bottlenose dolphins may have a lack of sense of smell. I am a moray eel. Moray eels can go up to 10 feet long and have two jaws. My lips help gather food and communicate with others. My lifespan is 50 to 70 years. Who am I? I am the manatee. I am a seahorse. My preys are small shrimp, tiny fish, and plankton. My predators are snow crabs, sharks, rays, fish, and birds. My predators are sharks, humans, and killers. I have a total of 1,500 teeth. Who am I? I am the Baskin shark. I eat allergy and invertebrates, such as worms, squid, and sea snails. My predators are barracudas and sea snakes. Who am I? I am a puffer fish. I prey on clam, squid, oysters, mussel, and shrimp. There are 200 species of me. Who am I? I am a stingray. I am a swordfish. Swordfish eat plankton, squid, fish, and octopus, which means I am a carnivore. I weigh 150 to 1,430 pounds. I am a humpback whale. I weigh 66,000 pounds. A humpback whale can make beautiful, complex sounds with their fruit. My animal preys mostly on mussels, fish, and sea urchin. I can weigh to 24 pounds and stretch to about five feet. Who am I? I'm a king crab. I am part of the fish family. I am curious about human. Who am I? I am a manta ray. I'm a southern elephant seal. Elephant seals prey on squid, fish, and octopus. Female elephant seals weigh 6,000 kilograms. My predators are killer whales, humans, and sharks. I can be 20 to 79 inches long. Who am I? I'm the barracuda. I am a sea turtle. I live in tropical oceans and burrow on tropical coasts. My predators are dogs, lizards, sharks, squid, and octopuses.
How Fish Got to Go to School. The story and music are by Miss Sadler's class. Long ago, Goldfish was so lonely. She had no friends because she only knew her parents. She didn't know any other fish. She was scared of the bigger fish, such as the shark. So Goldfish just stayed inside. Not far away, Zebrafish was also alone. He looked for things to do and looked out of his window, but he just saw empty ocean water. Shark was also bored and lonely. He swam through the reef to find a friend, but the other fish just ran away because they were scared of him. The truth was that the shark was also scared of the small fish because he did not know them. One day, the shark wasn't around. Goldfish and zebrafish left their houses. Goldfish went into a cave, and then she realized that zebrafish was in the cave too. He was lost and looking for his way out. Goldfish said, are you okay? Zebrafish said, no, I don't know where I am. Goldfish answered, oh, I'll try to help you find your way. Well, after they left the cave, they realized that they could be friends. Then they noticed they had company. They saw the shark, and the shark saw them. They all ran away from each other. Goldfish and zebrafish went to talk to their parents. They told their parents about meeting each other. Their parents had an idea. Goldfish's parents met Zebrafish's parents. They thought their children would be happier if they could go to school. They met with the octopus and they asked her to be the teacher. The octopus agreed. They went to meet with Coral to ask their help in building the school. The Coral family got to work. They built the school and the playground. When the school was all ready, the parents told their kids to go collect some seaweed to get them out of their house. On their way, zebrafish and goldfish ran into starfish. Starfish said, follow me. Then they followed starfish. The starfish led them to the school. They went inside and they were amazed. Then Angelfish brought Shark into the school. Zebrafish and Goldfish backed up. 
angelfish said, don't run away, this is a friend. Shark, meet goldfish and zebrafish. Goldfish and zebrafish meet shark. They smiled a little and said hi. Goldfish said, we've been scared to meet you, shark. Shark said, I've had no friends, and I've been scared to meet you too. Zebrafish said, why are you scared of us? Shark said, because I never met you before. Starfish said, now you have a school where you can meet new friends. Congratulations. Their parents and teacher welcomed them to the school. And that is how fish got to go to school. A hippo skin helps them move through the water. A hippo's mouth can open up to four feet wide from top to bottom. I am seven feet tall and weigh 6,500 pounds. I have gray skin that feels like leather. Who am I? I am an African elephant. I can go up to 30 miles per hour. My predators are dingoes, foxes, and wild dogs. Who am I? I am a wombat. 
I'm a bobcat. I live in Mexico, Canada, and America. I have fish, birds, bucks, and rabbits. I'm the biggest cat in the world. I'm related to other cats, including leopards, jaguars, and lions. When am I? I'm a tiger. I am a mongoose. I prey on meat, rodent, birds, reptiles, and eggs. I live in Africa, Europe, and Asia. I am a bald eagle. My top speed is 100 miles per hour. I have special bumps on my feet that help me hold on to slippery prey such as fish. I'm a buffalo. Buffalo's predators are humans, lions, and crocodiles. American buffalo are also called Cape buffalo. I'm a aardvark. At sunset, aardvarks go into their burrows. Their predators are lions and hyenas. I am a kangaroo. I live in Australia. I weigh between 40 to 200 pounds. I have surprisingly long legs, so when I am frightened, I can run up to two meters per second. I sleep in the day, underground, or beneath piles of leaves. Who am I? I am a hedgehog. I digest plants quickly. I only have one toe in each foot and walk on the tip of the toe. Who am I? I am a zebra. I am 12 to 16 inches long. I can run up to 35 miles per hour. Who am I? I am a prairie dog. My predators are leopards, lions, and hyenas. My tongue can be 18 inches long, and my neck can grow up to 6 feet long. Who am I? I'm the giraffe. I live in open land because I do not need shelter. I am an important symbol of life in the western United States. Who am I? I'm a bison. I am a koala. I am asleep during the day and awake at night. The animals that eat me are birds, snakes, and domestic animals, especially dogs. Elephant got to be so big. Mrs. Seeley's class created the story and the music. Notice that the person with the elephant trunk is the main character of the story. Many, many years ago, there were only small elephants. One small elephant in particular was always in a hurry. He was not patient. <laughs> small elephant had a hard time noticing others. One day he was running along and he almost crashed into the ostrich. He didn't even stop. He just said, get out of my way. He kept on running. (laughs) 
Then he looked up and saw Koala in the tree. He was jealous and not patient. He said, why can't I be in the tree so I can eat those leaves too? Small elephant didn't even pause to listen to Koala. He kept running on and he didn't notice Hedgehog. She was trying to find water for her babies. One day, small elephant ran back under the tree where Koala lived. Small elephant said, I need you to hurry up and come down because you need to get me up in those leaves. Koala looked at Elephant, but she didn't come down right away. She said, Elephant, you'll have to wait. Finally, Koala came down slowly. She walked slowly with Elephant. They went to watch the two giraffes. The two giraffes were taking turns talking about their day. Koala said, look at them. Each one is listening to the others. That is what it is like to be patient. Small elephant was quiet for the first time, for a moment, and then he walked away a little slower. Small elephant was learning patience. The next day, interestingly enough, small elephant had become medium-sized. He was thirsty and looking for water. Medium elephant walked right into Ostrich. He started talking to Ostrich. I'm so thirsty and there's no water anywhere today. Ostrich said, you could listen. I don't need your help, interrupted Medium Elephant. Ostrich said, Elephant, you need to listen because I can teach you how to find water. Ostrich and Medium Elephant sat down together. Ostrich tells him the sounds of water, pit pat and drip drop. Ostrich tells him to feel the ground for the rumbling of thunder. Medium elephant walked off toward the sound. Medium elephant was learning to listen. Two weeks later, medium elephant had grown again. He was pretty big, but he still was not noticing others. He almost stepped on hedgehog. Giraffe came up quickly and said, watch out! Big elephant, you have grown and you have to notice others, especially if they are needing help. Hedgehog was trying to find water. Giraffe asked, big elephant, don't you know how to find water? Big elephant replied, yes, I can help Hedgehog. Giraffe, do you need water too? Giraffe said, wow, elephant, you are so thoughtful. Let's go get water. Big Elephant was learning to notice others. As they walked toward the water, Big Elephant was huge because his heart had grown. He had learned patience, he had learned to listen, and he had learned to notice others. Along the walk, he had invited many animals to come get water, and they were glad to follow the kind, big elephant. is how Elephant got to be so big.
I am Australia's wild dog. My predators are humans and large reptiles. Who am I? I am the dingo. I use my prince, my pincers for defense. I am 1.5 to 3 inches. Who am I? I am the bark scorpion. My only predators are humans. My young can be eaten by lions and hyenas. Who am I? I am a cheetah. I prey on worms, plants, and insects. I am pink when I'm a baby, but I am gray and black when I get older. Who am I? An armadillo. The only place you'll not find me is Antarctica. I can see eight times better than you. Who am I? I'm a hawk. I would live up to 40 or 50 years old. I can survive with that water for 10 months. I'm a camel. I'm a collared lizard. I lay 12, 12 eggs at a time. I have two black collars around my neck. I am a collared peccary. I am a mammal. I am kept as pets. I am a black footed spider. My skin is made out of shell. My claws help me grip on the surfaces. I am a meter cat. I stand up to 12 inches tall. I weigh around three pounds. I have long claws that help me dig. I live in North America and South America. I only meet like moose, deer, elk, and porcupines. I am a cougar. I'm a fennec fox. I have long big fur, the descending color. I'm the smallest fox in the world. I eat dung, rotting mushrooms, fruit, and leaves. I've been around to the diamond dinosaurs. Who am I? I'm a dung beetle. I live in North America, Asia, Australia, and Europe. I am a carnivore. Who am I? I am a peregrine falcon. My predator is a jackal. I can jump over eight feet tall. I am an Arabian oryx. Hi, I'm Antelope. I renew my horns every year. My top speed is 45 miles per hour. I can be brown, gray, black, white, and tan. I can grow to be 22 inches long and in in weigh four pounds. Who am I? I am a gill monster. I am a low runner. My speed is 26 miles per hour. A flock of lone runners is called a marathon. I'm a gazelle. When I'm nervous, I will honk. I have incredible speed to escape predators. Why the desert has sand. Miss team is class creative script and the music. Have, Have you, you ever wondered, wondered how the desert got, got its sand? sand?
Once upon a time in the dry, hot, dangerous desert, Roadrunner, King Cobra, and Meerkat had a race. Roadrunner was very fast, but Meerkat and King Cobra were trying to catch up. Suddenly, Roadrunner fell into a crack. Meerkat and King Cobra saw him fall. They stopped to help. Meerkat tried to dig, but the ground was so hard and rocky. King Cobra tried to slither down, but her belly was too sore from the rocks. <laughs> Hulk was flying over and he saw there was a problem. So he swooped down to figure out what was going on. He saw that Rotor and it was stuck in the crack. So he flew into the crack and rescued Rotor on her. Rotor on her says, Oh my goodness, that was so scary. Thank you very much for saving me. Everyone started talking at once about the problem of the cracks and the rocky land. Hawk said, Roadrunner, you need to be more careful. Roadrunner said, I was just trying to win. I think it is I think we all have problems with this desert land. King Kuiper said, yes, the rocks are my tummy. It is all red. <laughs> Meerkat said, I have no home because it's too hard to dig. Hawk said, I have an idea. I have a bird eye view. I can go and look for Arabian Oryx. So the Hawk found Arabian Oryx. The other animals told her the problem. She had sharp hooves, so they asked her to make dust out of the rocks. Once she got it started, they all started stomping to make more dust. Then, King Kipper got into her spiral. And she turned the dust up into a storm. Roadrunner ran all around the dust storm and spread it all over. The dust covered all over the land. And all of the animals gathered and said, Wow, King Cobra said, what, so, what should we call this powdery stuff? Meerkat said, let's call it sand. Now I can dig to make my home. King Cobra was so happy because her belly didn't hurt when she slithered. Roadrunner could go as fast as he wanted. They all said, we made it better for everyone. And that is how the desert got its sand.
Mufasa. My fur is red and dark brown. My predator is the crocodile. I'm a kinkajou. I eat plants, fruit, nectar, honey, insects, ants, termites, eggs, and small mammals. I'm an omnivore. I am like a horse. I, I am a herbivore. Who am I? I am a little coffee. I am a spider monkey. I am white and black. I put on fruit, leaves, flowers, nuts, bird eggs, and insects. I am an eye. I am black and dark brown. My predators are humans, fossils, and birds. I live in a den. I am a mammal. Who am I? I am a tiger. I live alone. My adaptations are hearing, sight, smell, short legs, whiskers, and camouflage. Who am I? I'm a jaguar. I'm a boa constrictor. I have strong jaws and razor sharp teeth. I live in tree trunks. I'm a parrot. I'm an omnivore. I like to eat fruit, berries, seeds, nuts, bugs, and worms. I am more aggressive when I'm hungry. I have the most powerful bite of any fish. Who am I? I am a piranha. I am a poison dart frog. I am three inches long. I weigh to seven to 25 ounces. I eat beetles, ants, and spiders. My colors are brown, black, tad, and gray. My adaptations are my front claws and my powerful legs. Who am I? I am a ad teeter. I'm an otter. I eat piranhas, catfish, crabs, and snakes. I live in South America. I eat fruit, insects, spiders, lizards, snakes, and eggs. There are 40 different kinds of me. I am the toucan. My predators are the hawk, wildcats, and snakes. I can run up to 24 miles per hour. I'm the golden lion tamarind. <laughs> My color is black. I'm a carnivore. I usually eat whatever I find, but it's mostly fish and snakes and other animal eggs. I can go up to a size of a truck. Who am I? I'm a black caiman. I live in a colony. I have big eyes so I can see well at night. Who am I? I'm a sugar glider. I'm a vampire bat. I'm a carnivore and I'm a mammal because I have hair. I'm a rank thing. I live to 30 to 40 years. My clothes are brown, red, gray, black, and orange. I give birth to live babies. He found his voice. The quality class created the story and the music. Long ago, in a land far away, there lived a shy howler monkey. He was so shy, he was even afraid to talk to his friends, Sloth and Two Fossas.
Sloth and Tufasa like to play hide and seek with Howl and Monkey. But Howl and Monkey was too nervous to talk to his friends. He couldn't tell them about his feelings. Howler Monkey was able to hide well, but he couldn't be it because he couldn't say, Ready or not, here I come. One day when he was hiding, he heard all of the animals making noises and he really wanted to join the chorus of voices. Then Howler Monkey heard a rustle in the leaves. He saw a bright beak sticking out with a piece of paper attached. The beak of the toucan disappeared and the paper fell down. Sloth, Fossa 1, and Fossa 2 found Howler Monkey looking at the paper. Sloth said, what is it? Fossa 1 said, I think it's a map. Fossa 2 said, I wonder where it leads. Howler Monkey and his friends set out to follow the map. They followed the path and it took them through the forest and over a bridge. Then they got to a big rock. How are we going to get past it, wondered Fossa 1 and 2. Sloth said, the map shows the rock and there is a hand knocking on the rock. Howler Monkey tried knocking on the rock. They all realized it was hollow so they could move it easily. Behind the rock was a magical waterfall with a toucan peeking through. The toucan said, only the howler monkey can go through the waterfall. So the howler monkey went through the waterfall and up the vines into the treetops. The toucan led him to a treehouse where there was a magical parrot with a band of birds sing, playing a song to a, playing along to a song. The howler monkey started dancing. And then the magical parrot paused everything and said, Toucan told me that you need a voice and maybe I could help you. Help me. Howler Monkey looked worried and felt shy. The magical parrot sang to him, I'm going to give you magical words that you can say anytime you are afraid. Have courage each day with these words, I am brave. The howler monkey heard the music start. He started dancing and singing with the song. Have courage each day with these words, I am brave. Have courage each day with these words, I am brave. He got louder and louder. The magical parrot said, he's got it. Howler Monkey went back down the vines with his amazing voice. He found his friends and they were so surprised to hear his brave singing. Have courage each day with these words, I am brave. Have courage each day with these words, I am brave. The Howler Monkey said, Fossas and Sloth, thank you for helping me find my way. Have courage each day with these words, I am brave. They all joined the chorus of voices.
left you all full and you can go have a wonderful spring break. Just a few things. Let's again thank Ms. Hughes and the teacher. Thank our technology people. We couldn't do it without them. Thank you all so much. And one last applause for our wonderful actors.